quick tools. A bevel is an effect that smooths out the edges and corners. And there are many ways you can create a bevel in Blender. There is the destructive modeling way by using the Ctrl B command in edit mode. There is also the non-destructive way by using the bevel modifier. But did you know that there is also the third way by using the bevel node in the shader editor? <laughs> yes, you can create bevels on your object by connecting a bevel node into your shader's normal input. Here's a model that I recently used in one of my Spot the Knot videos. If we take a look at the real reference object, we can see that the whole object is actually one piece of plastic that came from the same mold. As a result of that, we can see that every small detail seems to have a welded effect around the edges. It would be quite challenging or time consuming to model this object accurately. This is where the bevel node comes in handy. I originally modeled each part separately and merged them all together into one object. Then, I used the bevel node on a shader and the result is exactly what I needed to have all the separate parts welded together at the seams where they intersect each other. There are also other smart applications for this technique. For example, Michael Greenwood uses this technique in his stylized character animations that could be challenging to achieve without the use of bevel node. Do check out his art station if you are interested in this work. So, is the bevel node the best way to bevel something? It depends on what you are trying to achieve. So here's the pros and cons of using the bevel node in Blender. The pros are, you get quick results. And they are useful in certain applications that are not achievable via other methods. They also keep the poly count for your objects or scene low. It is very easy to control. The parameters are very straight to the point. And there's no need to worry about clamping. For the cons, the bevel node only works in cycles. It cannot be converted into actual topology. There is no way to fine tune the bevels such as with the bevel modifier. Models have to be merged into one object if you want to bevel the seams. And it doesn't weld together different materials with bevel nodes. Thank you for watching, save your file, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi! <laughs> Subscribe!